Hello, hello, hello. Right, 20th of May. We are one day away from three weeks of May already gone. And I hope you've been having impacts on other people. And I hope you've noticed the, the, the positive energy that you've been giving out to others and how others are giving you that positive energy back. Maybe not straight away, but maybe over a period of, of a few days throughout the month, you've been able to see that and feel that and witness that yourself. So today, Rick Wakeman. There's a fine line between angry and grumpy. Angry isn't nice, but grumpy is funny. Now, when you're in a grumpy mood, whether you're angry or grumpy, if someone turns around and takes the mickey out of you, you're not going to be, you're not going to find it funny. Um, we all know that we've all been there. However, being grumpy about something means you're going to get over it, it means that you're going to get past that very quickly in a short period of time. And you can choose between the two. You can choose to be angry. You know, the anger comes from deep down within, which is nasty. It's not nice. Or you can choose to be grumpy and not allow yourself to get to that point where you're going to lash out with anger. It means that you're going to be just an awkward, grumpy old sod for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes because you've heard something that's pissed you off. And that's OK. Like we've talked about a few, day, a few days before, allowing to have the emotion is fine, but allowing yourself to keep that emotion for the day is not OK. And that's where I think the difference between anger and grumpy is, because if you're angry, you can't just shake that off in 10, 15 minutes. You're still going to be angry for quite a while. And that's going to affect your day. And that's going to affect how you talk and deal with other people throughout that day. And that's going to have an effect on them. And then that could upset them. And then it, that affects other people. And it has that, again, like we talked again about a ripple effect. You have that negative ripple effect. Whereas if you're grumpy and you show that sort of willing to go... <laughs> Look, I'm really here. I'm really not happy at the moment. Give me five minutes. Let, let me get the grump out. People are going to laugh at you and go, yeah, all right. Because you're willing to accept and be open to the fact that it's OK to be grumpy and it's, it's OK to laugh. Um, and I think if we if we remember that actually laughter and we've again earlier this month, laughter is the best medicine um, for these sort of situations. It just may actually bring you out of that grump state a little bit quicker. So Rick Wakeman, I believe, is very, very right. There is a fine line between angry and grumpy, and it is very, very fine indeed um, that you can quite easily step over. And that's why we have to be so conscious of our feelings and emotions every day. And that's why we have to choose every day to be happy, to be joyful, to be positive, because if we don't do that every day, the grumps will creep in and those grumps can turn to anger very, very quickly. So there's a fine line between angry and grumpy. Angry isn't nice, but grumpy is funny. Make today count and only be grumpy if you have to be. Otherwise, find the humour in whatever is going on today and share that with others. Make today count.